Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and I want to show you how to make the Shadow Tiles card. Um, this is a really easy technique. You're just going to need Whisper White paper, you're going to need some ink, and some post-it notes. You're also going to need a sponge dauber. And you can create this wonderful background and using um, uh, your sponge dauber and a scoreboard because we're going to score these tiles which is where the technique comes from it, with your scoreboard. The set I'm going to be using is going to come out in the mini catalog. This is a stamp set and here's the mini catalog which goes live in August. The stamp set is called Beauty of Tomorrow and I'm going to be using um, some of these uh, these images here to uh, to stamp our card. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's begin with the base card, and this is a, a Whisper White base card. It's cut at um, four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is just simply, you know, half a sheet of Whisper White. And then I've cut a layered piece of Whisper White to go on top of that. And that is cut at um, four by five and a fourth. And I'm just going to grab my my little tool here to make sure that this is nice and crisp. I don't know if you can hear the thunder, but we're getting ready to have a thunder storm here in northern New Mexico. Okay, the first thing I want to do, and let me just bring this in a little bit, is I want to take a very, very... Um, dark color. So this is the color I'm going to be using. And I'm going to grab my my stamp set which is Beauty for Beauty of Tomorrow. And I'm going to grab my stamps. I have them on blocks right here. And I'm going to um, grab my Blackberry Bliss. I'm going to stamp this off right here. Or rather just stamp. Okay, I've stamped those two right there. And then let me go ahead and clean off my stamp. I'm going to grab my next stamp here. And I'm just going to kind of go around this little corner right here. Let me, let me just grab a piece of paper so that I kind of I'm going to stamp that there. Stamp that there. And you kind of see how I'm kind of using this curve right here. That curve is kind of curling around. <coughs> Isn't that pretty? I just might add just a little bit of something there. So I'm just kind of filling up, just filling up this, this whole side right there with, um, the dark um, Blackberry Bliss. So now that I've done that, we're going to create tiles. And the way we're going to create these tiles is we're going to take our paper and we're going to put it on a cutting board and we're going to orient the corner kind of like, like this. And we're just going to start um, creating our score lines all the way across and the score lines are one and a fourth apart and then we're going to turn it so it's perpendicular like this and then we're going to do the same thing we're going to do score lines the opposite direction so let's go ahead and get started I'm bringing in my scoreboard and the first thing I want to do with my scoreboard is I'm going to line up this corner 
and this corner with the two inch here and the one in and the gutter right there make sure I have my score tool now that I've scored that line I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to line this scored line up with one and a quarter right there I'm going to move it over move this one over to one and a quarter and let's see if this one will go over to one and a quarter that's perfect then we're going to turn this around and line up this one with one and a quarter right there and right there okay so now I have done I have done um, these lines going down this direction now I have to turn these lines that I've just done to a 90 degree angle so I'm going to turn these lines to a 90 degree angle and I'm going to line them up on my cutter along these lines here and I'm going to do the same thing I'm just simply going to line them up and then I'm going to score now wherever I scored I'm going to line that score line up with my one and a quarter right there and I'm just going to keep walking this across one and a quarter to one and a quarter walking it across and that's going to create our squares let me make sure I have this walked across here yep that's perfect okay so now I have created I've created the score lines here on my card okay so now what I'm going to do is I have my image and I have a sponge dauber and I'm going to bring in some long uh, post-it notes and I'm just going to line these post-it notes up and we can start at the top line the post-it notes and I could use a short post-it note for this side ones I'm just lining those post-it notes up my sponge dauber and I'm just going to turn just a piece of paper to make sure that I get I just want a kind of a smooth color so I'm using Blackberry Bliss. I just didn't have to I didn't have to move that one. I could just lift that one up there. I'm gonna move this bottom one. So I'm moving the green one. I'm leaving this long one along my So what I can do with the rest of this 
And I can just kind of bring my sponge dauber in. I can kind of grab some of this edge here. Because remember, this is going to go on Whisper White cardstock. So it's good to have nice edge. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So there is our tile technique. Again, just kind of using um, one, and, one and a quarter, doing the tile with a sponge dauber. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to stamp um, this bird right here. I'm going to use a piece of Whisper White. So I'm going to grab this stamp and I'm going to grab a sentiment. And I'm going to continue to use my Blackberry Bliss. That was blurry, so I'm going to re-stamp that because I got kind of kind of a blur there. So let me there. You go. That's much better. I'm going to have to cut this in half because I'm going to pull in my my small machine and. Let me put in my little mini mini machine here. So I'm going to grab my grab my plates here. I'm going to cut my little bird. And this is just so easy. one of these from the Stitch So Sweetly. Line up my plates. So here's my, my card. I have my sentiment here and then I have this little this little bird. Now what I'm going to do with this little bird is and I want you to come in closely here is I'm going to take some weak Stella and this is this is kind of a little this is kind of a little tip I'm going to take the weak Stella and I am going to just very lightly look at look at what I'm doing I'm just kind of going across the weak Stella very lightly and I'm just kind of kind of giving him a little bit of an outline. And look at that. Isn't that nice? So, so I'm going to bring in some of the products. I'm going to bring in some of the products that go with this stamp set and dies. This is the beauty of tomorrow. Um, it's got some lovely lovely paper. I can't show you the paper because as part of our um, uh, demonstrator pre-order the paper is not available. As soon as the paper is available I will I will get it to show you but it just has some really beautiful pieces that can that come with it. Here's a couple of sheets of the pieces. Okay, this is called the ephemeral pack. 
and it's going to match the DSP. This set also comes with um, some This is vellum. You see the shimmer on the vellum? It comes with this special vellum and it comes with this ribbon. So you can see that with the Blackberry Bliss color and these dyes that I've used here, the beautiful leaf dyes, and let me show you these dyes. There's several, there's lots of dyes that come with this set. So I will be making other cards, but I just kind of wanted to, to show that to you. This is a suite that's in the mini catalog. And here is the cover of that catalog. I can't show you the inside. It also has, comes with celebrations that will be available in August. So I just wanted to kind of show you all the pieces that come with this suite. And now we're just going to take some of this ribbon. I'm just going to cut some of this ribbon right there. Okay, and then look how nice, how nice that goes there. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull in some of these, and these are in the, these are in the annual catalog, these are little pearls. I'm going to pull in some of these gold pearls, and let me find my, my little, and I'm just going to put some, um, Kind of like that. Isn't that pretty? I just need three. That's all I need. But these are the um, gold just metallic pearls. That's it. So we just have some metallic pearls. Let me put those back in there. And that really kind of finishes kind of finishes it off a bit. So there you go. I use some gold pearls. I use Beauty of Tomorrow. And here are the other cards that I made. Um, this card I made with the um, Forever Fern. The Forever Fern and the Dragonfly set. I made that card and I used a mossy meadow. This one is um, spruce, shaded spruce. Um, I found some old, some, some embellishments I just kind of added there. Again, I added some pearls. I um, in gold embossed my uh, dragonflies on some vellum. Here I used the um, Beauty for tomorrow, but I ad added a dragonfly in here. Very simple, and I just kind of want to show you how, how um, uh, again, this one I cut using some of that really pretty gold uh, vellum, kind of a sparkly vellum. But I wanted to show, as I kind of lay these out that you can kind of pick where you want your shading. This one kind of comes in. And these are actually diamonds. These are squares. 
and you can kind of pick how you want your shading. This shading is coming from the bottom. So there you go. Um, some beautiful uh, cards uh, featuring a technique called shadow tiles technique. I'm using some new um, some new uh, products from the uh, new catalog and all you need is some whisper white and sponge dauber and your uh, your uh, cutter to score all of your different lines and um, I just think it's kind of a, a quick and easy not really difficult but it's a very it's a very uh, interesting background okay so this is a uh, cat chancellor with stamp art connection and stampartconnection.com thank you so much and happy stamping